Hello, how are you today? How have you been? It's been a while since we've done one of these children's ministry videos. So here's another one. But today we're going to be talking about heaven. And it's mainly going to be me today. Unfortunately, my wife and my friend, Kirsty, has died and she's gone to heaven. And that's really wonderful for her that she is somewhere really special. But it doesn't mean that I don't miss her. And I'm sad that she's not with me. Maybe you've lost someone or felt sad when you've had to move school or home or even move to another country. It's very sad when we don't have our friends with us anymore. And it's OK to be sad and it's OK to tell others when we're sad and it's OK to cry when we're sad. Sometimes I feel sad and I cry when I think about Kirsty. But I can also be happy that she is in heaven, which is a very good place where there's no more sadness and there's no more crying and that she is with God. So today we're going to sing a couple of songs. and I have an old one that Kirsty sang that, that we'll use as well. And that will be very special. And then we're going to have a Bible story and we we'll talk about heaven in that Bible story. But first, let us say a little word of prayer. So just bow your heads and we have a little prayer. Dear God, you are wonderful and the creator of all things. Thank you for all the people and the things you put in our lives. Please help us to do the things that please you. Help us when we are sad. Help us to have good times together today, singing songs and learning about heaven. Amen. So our first song today is going to be My God is So Big. So have your action hands ready. I'm going to sing My God is So Good. My, my God is So Big. One, two, three. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that God cannot do. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that God cannot do. The mountains are his, the rivers are his. The stars are his handiwork too. Blink, blink. My God is so big, so strong and so mighty. There's nothing that God cannot do for you. Okay then. One, two, three. God is good to me, God is good to me, although I'm small he hears my call. God is good to me, God is good to me, God is good to me, he holds my hand, he helps me stand. God is good to me, God is good to me, God is good to me. He gave me lips to eat my chips. God is good to me. God is good to me. God is good to me. Christ died for me on Calvary's tree. God is good to me. Yay! Well done, everybody. So today we've got a story on heaven from our book, the Children's Bible. Heaven to Come, from Revelation chapters 21 and 22. One day Jesus showed the disciple John something very special. This is a little preview of the wonderful place I'm preparing for you and for all those who follow me, Jesus said. He was talking about heaven. John saw a beautiful city made of gold with gates made out of pearls. The throne of King Jesus is in the city and all God's people live there with him. They sing and praise him all day long. No bad people can go into the city and there's no more crying or sickness there. Everything that's sad will be gone forever. In Psalm 16, verse 11, you will show me the way of life.
Grant me the joy of your presence and the pleasures of living with you forever. Heaven, welcome to the home of our Heavenly Father. Open to mum, dad, friends, sisters and brothers. In my everyday life, fairy tale or reality? Look at these amazing fairy tale castles. Imagine if we had our very own to live in. But God is making us a real one of these in his home, heaven. It's true. I read about it in my Bible and God always keeps his promises. I'll skip the plastic castle and look forward to the real one in heaven. So we're going to finish today with a quiz. And in this quiz, you can win some imaginary points. There's going to be three questions and see how many imaginary points you can win. And you get one imaginary point for every correct answer you get. So here is the first question. Who is the king in heaven? Is it A, Henry VIII? Is it B, King Arthur? and the Knights of the Round Table? Is it C, Jesus? Or D, King Julian? Is it A, King Henry VIII? B, King Arthur and his Knights of the Round Table? C, Jesus? Or D, King Julian? And for one imaginary point, the correct answer is C, Jesus. If you got that one right, give yourself one imaginary point. And on to the next question. Who did Jesus show the revelation to? Was it A. Peter B. James C. John Or D. Paul Who did Jesus show the revelation to? A. Peter B. James C. John or D. Paul? And the correct answer is C. John. And if you got that one right, give yourself another imaginary point. And our third and final question is How long do we get to spend in the wonderful riches of heaven? Is it A. 50 years? B. One million years, C, a very long time, or D, forever or an eternity? Is it A, 50 years, B, one million years, C, a very long time, or D, forever or an eternity? And the correct answer is D, forever, which also means an eternity, which is amazing. That's how long we spend with Jesus and with all our friends in this wonderful place where there's no more tears, no more suffering, just peace and love and joy. And it'll be so amazing to be there one day. Count up how many imaginary points you got in today's quiz. And that's the total. So thank you so much for joining today and hope to see you again soon. Bye bye.